Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me today. If you don't know me, my name is Morgan Malcolm and I am a realtor here in Colorado. This is my channel, Love Where You Live. Make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification if you haven't yet and um, you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get into today's video. So we're going to be recapping 2018 and what happened in the real estate market here and kind of give some predictions for what is going to happen in 2019. Now, 2018 was interesting because we had some carryover from 2017 where we started having a shortage of properties which causes prices to increase. So now normally when I meet with sellers, I go over comps from past sold properties, so comparable properties, um, to your house to give a prediction of what I think the home can sell for. Now you make lots of adjustments, things like that. So what you come up with is a price range and in 2018, we almost threw out that range. It almost didn't matter, but we started at the beginning going towards the top of the range. So when there's a shortage of properties, there becomes more demand for what is on the market. So prices can go higher. So we would list a property towards the top of the price range. So the top of what we think it can sell for and people were blowing that away. So we were getting bidding wars. There was 20, 30, 50,000 over asking price and houses were just flying off the market. So since properties were selling so quickly, we had less inventory. So this made the situation even worse. Uh, we also had a huge influx of buyers, probably due to our low interest rates, so historic lows, people that hadn't even considered buying or that never had wanted to previously, started looking into it and getting into the market. So we had even more buyers than we've ever had before and we had lower property numbers. So there was less to choose from, which created even more of a bidding war. And towards the middle, so June, July, summer months of 2018, it kind of peaked at the craziest of what we were able to do. So going into 2019, we've actually started seeing a little pushback on that. Now, it could be due to an increase in the interest rate. So people are less able to afford less than they were previously. Their buying power is being decreased as that interest rate increases. So buyers may not want to buy a property at this point. We also saw some buyer fatigue. So a lot of the buyers were in that bidding war. You couldn't get a property, you were getting frustrated, or some of them just had to find a place to live. So a lot of people either moved out of state, moved in with a relative, or did a rental. So they are no longer in the market. So that decreased our buyer pool. So what we're seeing, our buyers are not as willing to push that price anymore, which means sellers need to get a better, um, more realistic expectation of what their house can sell for. Now, 2019 is a great market still to sell. We are at historic highs on prices, but what we're not able to do is continue to push. So when I give that price range, we're gonna try to list, if you wanna sell quickly, to the mid to the lower end of the price range of what your home can sell for. If you're willing to let it sit for a little bit longer, we're going to the mid to the higher range. Now this is more of a balanced market, and it's actually a really good thing for both buyers and sellers. Going into 2019, buyers are able to get at or below list prices, so they're able to kind of decrease that a little bit. They're also able to get sellers to help them cover some of the closing costs. They're able to do contingent offers. So if they need a house to sell before they can buy something, we're seeing that coming back. We're also going to have sellers make some adjustments or repairs at inspection, where in 2018, that was basically unheard of. So we're getting more to a balanced market in 2019. I'm also predicting that investors are going to start coming back towards the end of 2019. So what happens with flips is you need to buy the property at a low price in order to make any money. 2018 prices were so high and people were multiple bids on even properties that needed work where investors were just like, there's just no money to be made here. So a lot of my investors 
were on hold for most of 2018, waiting for those prices to come back down. And I think towards the end of 2019, we're gonna start seeing distressed properties at a price that's reasonable, so investors can buy it, make it fixed up, you know, pretty again, and then put it back on the market for a profit. So I'm thinking by the end of 2019, investors will be coming back. So to sum up, 2018 was a crazy seller's market. So I don't think there has been another time in history in Colorado where prices have jumped as high and as quickly as they did as in 2018. So the rate that we were going, there was no way to sustain that. Basically what 2019 is going to be seeing much more of a balance. So we're gonna start pulling back from pushing prices we're gonna start seeing houses that need work listed at reasonable prices, and things are gonna take a little bit longer to sell. Not a horrible thing, because if you're a seller, you wanna find a property to live in afterwards. So when you sell your house, you're still at historic highs, but you're able to find a replacement home. So buyers are also able to get more of what they're wanting. They're not having to compete as much, they're not going to have to give the seller everything. They could be able to get some help purchasing the property or have some adjustments made during that inspection if anything does come up. So hopefully that gives you guys a good indication of what's gonna come up. Um, if you are a seller in the Colorado market and you wanna know a little bit more about what I'm thinking your home can sell for, please feel free to contact me, my information's below. Also, if you're a buyer, I'd love to help you find something. It is a good time to be a buyer, considering everything that's changing, you're able to get a lot more and you have a little bit more time and availability to see more properties and actually make some decisions not right at the moment. Um, any questions or comments, if you think there's anything else you're predicting for 2019, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Also let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see or if you have questions on something specific, leave it in the contacts below or notify me from some social media, all of that's listed down there. Also make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell if you have not already so that you're notified when I upload any new videos. And thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. All right, thanks, bye.